I'm Matthew Kressel. I'm a science fiction and fantasy writer. I've written uh, a little horror, but I don't uh, write much horror these days. I've had um, uh, about 50 short stories published and two novels, um, Nebula Award finalist three times, World Fantasy Award finalist. Uh, I co-host the Fantastic Fiction at KGB Reading Series in Manhattan with Ellen Datlow, uh, which if you are not in the New York City area, we have a podcast. Uh, just Google Fantastic Fiction at KGB. And uh, I also am the creator of the Moksha submission system. So if you've ever used that to submit a work of fiction to an online magazine, that's my creation. Uh, and you may have seen it in the news with all the AI stuff lately. Um, my uh, sort of entry into this topic was, uh, well, through many ways, but uh, in particular, um, I think I mentioned on the last uh, podcast we did, the last panel, uh, that I, I am a huge fan of the movie Blade Runner, and I've watched it like a hundred times. And it is very obviously a dystopia. And what I began to notice um, as I started doing panels on Blade Runner was like this dystopia was the default vision for the future. It's like when people thought of the future, they thought of like bleak, rainy streets, pollution, overcrowding, poverty, uh, people disenfranchised and the rich owning everything, you know, and then everyone else is living in squalor. And this became like this default vision. And I started to say, well, that's not the future that I want to live in. That's, you know, why is this the when the first thing you think of, this is uh, what, what um, you know, the first image that pops into your head. And, and it's, it, I started to realize it's just because it was just, it, it was just so saturated in, in media everywhere. And th this has changed in the past few years. I've seen a very significant change in the past few years. Um, but that was sort of my entry into it. And I was like, well, I, I want to actively work against that because, even though that is a, a very fascinating future to me from a sort of storytelling standpoint, uh, I definitely don't want to live in that world. I want to live in like, you know, the the more utopian, uh, optimistic futures that I think we're all going to uh, discuss.